I'm Batman. Watch out, bad guys. Ooh. Bronze Tiger. Bronze Roadkill. Squish you in my windscreen, Firefly. Out of the way, villain scum. Batmobile coming through. This is Batman. Hey, look, it's Catwoman's house. Hey, Catwoman, watch this. Batman, go away. Check me out, Catwoman. Watch this stunt. Oh, Batman. See how high this bat can fly. Batman, you're silly. Hey, watch me, Catwoman. Batman, please go away. Catwoman, you have to see this. Batman, I'm not impressed. Catwoman, watch this. Oh, Batman, that was sad. Oh, hey, Catwoman, check this out. This is how I get back in, Catwoman. Batman, my cats will get you. Watch out, bad guys. Yeah, Batman, you're awesome. I know I am. Take that, villain scum. You've been run over. Ooh. See you later, Batman. Hi guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede and we are live on location at the Squirrel Stampede front door. And what have we found, Squirrelzilla? A Batman Box DC. What is this? Did Batman finally find my address? I hope so. I'll forgive you Batman on the no solicitor sign. Squirrelzilla, what is inside this box? It's so fancy. Here, let's open it up. Whoa, the Batman seal of approval. What mission will you get? <gasps> Batman toys, Robin, Bronze Tiger, Talon, Firefly. A launch and defend Batmobile with figure ejecting seat? You must be joking. Wait a second. It's almost as if someone went through the trouble of removing two of the toys. <laughs> I did that! And if you wish to see a precious Batman figure, you better review the things in this box. <laughs> I know. Well, come on, Zilla. Let's get these toys up on the table and see what they can do. Back on the table with an awesome assortment of Batman. What mission will we get? Creature Chaos figures and a very awesome launch and defend Batmobile. Let's begin with Robin. Batman needs a trusty sidekick, right, Squirrelzilla? <laughs> Three surprises inside this first edition figure. What mission will you get, Sewer Showdown, Rooftop Rivals, Street Defender, or Jungle Rumble? Let's find out. Street Defender, maybe? Let's open the lockers. Ooh, a red Robin Batarang. So this has to be the Rooftop Rivals mission. A yellow Bowstaff Axe Attack. Yellow Nunchucks. And for Robin... I like how this Robin is portrayed a little younger. Sometimes they go way too old with Robin. He always needs to be a size smaller than Batman for sure, and this figure is. I also like the classic Robin color scheme, and the hood is a very nice touch. As for the mission weapons to collect, I think we just found regular, nothing rare with the collection, but here are what you can collect this time around. Alright, next we go with Bronze Tiger! Robin, your reflexes. I do not know Bronze Tiger at all. What mission will you get? Well, let's find out more about Bronze Tiger. Locker number one. Whoa! Kalawi! Locker number two! A shield! 
Locker number three. And a grapple, I think. These are very highly detailed weapons. Let's get Bronze Tiger out. Wow, what an awesome figure. It's Shere Khan from Tailspin. No, wait, a Bronze Tiger. And this is an amazing looking figure. Spin Master does so well. Is this a moving tail? It is a moving tail. Oh, this is great. One of the things that Spin Master has nailed right off the start with their Batman line was characters that normally don't get featured time. In fact, characters that I still don't know anything about. I don't remember Bronze Tiger ever appearing on Batman the Animated Series or The Batman, the two cartoon shows I watched the most of. And these are items from the Sewer Showdown mission with a septic sludge materials finish. It's very detailed, it's really nice. It must have a base of a lime green plastic with a muddy brownish green overlay, which makes it look so cool. We've got a claw and the grapple. Let's get the claw arm on. If I could figure if he's a lefty or righty. Oh, the thumbs up, right? Very Lionel esque I like the shield too. What a figure! Awesome! I'm gonna have to learn more about Bronze Tiger today. Stepping back, Sir Tiger. Next up we have Talon! Another character I kinda don't know much about. What kinda DC fan am I? Same art on the back. Let's open up. Locker number one. Oh, very nice. These have to be from the Jungle Rumble mission. Cryptic camo material finish. Is that a chicken? No, it's an owl. Oh, that's right. There's kind of an owl thing going on with this guy. And finally, ooh, that looks sharp and pointy. Let's get Talon out. Another very well-designed figure. Kind of metallic-y on the paint on this dude. I like the belt, shoulder harness, and the weaponary Talon hands. Good goggling and fun set of weapons. More with the septic sludge for sure. How do we get that owl on his back? I think I see a back post. All right, this figure just upgraded 900%. That is awesome. Love the scale of Batman figures too. So, uh, a Joker, did I open enough toys yet to see the large Batman yet? Ah, you certainly did not keep opening. <laughs> that was a horrible impression, I'm sorry. Next up, it's Firefly. Now this must be a newer or older repaint of Firefly. I somehow already have a Firefly, but in the bright Firefly color pattern. Oh no, wait, that was Killer Moth. So Firefly is brand new. Let's open up. More lockers to explore. Ooh, glowy green gunny. Ooh, glowy hand fiery thingy. And a helmet for Firefly. Or is that Batman's helmet? I think that's Batman's. And opening up Firefly. Ooh. Firefly is here and it, is he the one shedding some plastic crumbs on the table? Who's, where's that coming from? Another fantastic figure. Look at the back Firefly jet accessory. Eh, could have used a little bit of paint, but still neat to see. How did they fit him in the box like that? So we have the sewer showdown Firefly with more septic sludge weaponry. Let's see if we can arm him with this cool septic sludge fist. Looks pretty cool. How about the helmet too? Does it fit Firefly too? Oh good, so probably both Batman and Firefly can wear this. What a collection today. All right, Shirley Joker, let's see the large Batman. <laughs> Not yet. Review the Batmobile next. <laughs> and don't call me Shirley. There's been many a Batmobile for many a years. For the longest time, Kenner would just do the same thing over and over again and give the Batmobile a projectile. This time though, Batman is the projectile. Batman ejects from this Batmobile, and it's an RC, so it's a double dose of awesome. I am super excited to drive this thing. What's on the back? Collect and create your own race. Other Batman figures available. I think I have this armored figure somewhere. Light up cockpit, aerodynamic wings, real rubber tires, and USB charging. If it charges anything like the Spin Master Monster Jam, giant enormous grave digger RC, we're in for a treat. Well, let's see what the Batmobile looks like out of box. And the Mobile of Bat out of box. What an interesting design they're going with. Kind of a mixture between old and new. The front end of a tumbler. The back end animated series like. 
the armor of Arkham, all sorts of details. Almost looks like his front hood did get ripped off in an accident. Included, we have a regular standard Batman in black. This Batman pretty much the same as others, although I don't think his arms will reach out. He's going to be needed to be a little more slimmed down, I think, to shoot out the ejector seat. Opening up the cockpit, we have a place for Batman to sit, of course. Looks quite roomy in there. I think I see a cup holder. Several things need to be locked in for Batman to fly. The seat needs to be pushed down a side latch. And of course, Batman needs to sit. You, sir, sit down. Oh good, that cape isn't too much in the way. Close the hatch. And Batman should be ready to run. Of course, we need to get some batteries for our RC controls. And we need to charge the Batmobile. Opening the compartment. Our charging cable, and it says a computer USB port is recommended. I think I'll just go with my phone jack. Alright, is the Batmobile charged and ready? Looks that way. Is the ejector seat primed and ready? Looks like it. Well done. Let's get this driving on the road. I just love driving in the autumn time. The leaves on the trees are so pretty. I see greens, oranges, and reds. Will someone sweep up this path, for goodness sakes? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the video maker! I'm going to get you. Come back here, Dan. Come back here. I'll get you. Run, you coward! Ha ha ha! Ah, such a beautiful day. Look at the trimmed grass. Ah, villains! I smush you, Talon. Take that, Bronze Tiger, again. You're nothing, Firefly. Oh, hi, Robin. All right, Joker. I'm pretty sure all of your goons are taken out. Can we finally see the final Batman figure? <laughs> Alright. So inside the very fancy box we had a very nice Batman figure. A very nice tall Batman figure. Looks to have several points of articulation. I have yet to open one of these yet before. I have a few others of these. I really like the look of them in the box, but I'll open this one up. I really want to see how it works. So let's find a way in. And out of the box, a very Zilla squirrel-sized Batman. Very nice. I like the dark black suit on this one. Nice felt fabric, not felt, fabric cape. Yellow bat utility belt, yellow outlined bat symbol on chest. And a ton of articulation, shoulders that rotate and move out. Elbows, wrists, hips that sit, knees that bend. Just enough for a lot of fun. Sometimes they overdo these and then they start to fall down. I would say the only thing missing would maybe be a small accessory weapon, like a batarang would have been really nice to have in his hand. How will you open me too? Yes, Joker, let's open Joker up too in a suit. Joker is looking extra fancy. Let's get him out of the package. Wow, Joker was in there quite a bit more. Really heavily tied down. Kinda creepy with the black suit. Also kinda reminds me of Scooby-Doo Joker. Not sure why. Maybe because he's so tall and like Batman, plenty of points of articulation in these figures to move them about. Wow, Joker's got some really spindly legs going, but he looks good, nice little coattail. Fun, creepy. I'll take him out. And... Down goes the Joker. So there we go with the large scale Batman figures. Well, what a great, awesome Batman box from Spin Master. Thank you again, Spin Master, for sending over such a huge box of fun. The RC Batmobile is definitely a fun find and a fun play for fall 2020, so look out for the Batmobile. And of course, all these mission figures are so fun. 
I think my favorites in the group today, Talon and Robin. Both looking great, all looking great. What a collection. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamant. We'll talk about all these great Batman toys. Thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that. See you later, Batman.